King Von is one of the most notorious shooters in Chirac history. But even killers have a sweet spot, and before the money and fame, Von had a crush in Chicago who was also one of his deadliest ops. K.I., a female shooter from the STL EBT set of the GDs. Now Chicago police have announced that Von was one of the main suspects in K.I.'s murder. Let's take a closer look at this wild relationship. King Von grew up in the Killer Ward area of Chicago, but later moved to the infamous O Block. His father, Ada Park Silk, was in and out of his life growing up because he was in and out of jail and was eventually killed when the rapper was just 11 years old. At 16, Von went to jail for the first time and he would continue to be in and out of the system for the next 10 years until he was killed in late 2020. Von was a member of the BDs and repped the O Block set along with rappers like Chief Keef and Lil Durk. O Block gets its name after a respected member of the BDs named Odie Perry was murdered back in 2011. OD was another casualty in the ongoing war between the BDs and Parkway Gardens and the GDs from around the area of 63rd and St. Lawrence, also known as STLEBT or Tukaville. The person rumored to be responsible for OD's death was a girl by the name of Jakara Barnes, aka KI. KI was a teenage girl who worked her way up to being one of the most feared gang members in all of Chicago. Early on, KI was just like any other normal girl. But growing up around so much death and violence in the South Side, as she got older, she quickly adapted to her environment. Her father was killed when she was just a year old, and growing up, she was always protective of those around her because of this early loss. When she was a teenager, she started hanging out with some GDs from the neighborhood, one of which was Tuka. For those that don't know, Shondell Gregory, aka Tuka, was a 15-year-old member of the Black Disciples that was also killed in 2011. Just like Odie Perry, after Tuka died, the St. Lawrence area was renamed Tukaville in his memory. K.I. was good friends with Tuka, and his death is part of what pushed her to become a savage. Tuka was killed by members of the BDs in retaliation for the death of Edric Walker, who was allegedly killed by GD members. After he died, Tuka became a common target for rappers from O Block to disrespecting their music, including famous artists like Chief Keef and King Von. The constant dissing of Tuka intensified the beef between O Block and STL, and that's also part of what started the beef between K.I. and King Von. After Tuka died, K.I. started getting sucked into the streets. According to rumors, on Tuka's birthday, she went out riding around looking for ops with FBG Butter when they ran into Odie Perry and shot him off his bike. OD was a member of the BD set, Wick City, which would later become O Block. At first, no one wanted to believe that it was a teenage girl who took out a high-ranking member of one of the wildest gangs in Chicago. But as K.I.'s reputation in the streets grew, they were forced to accept the truth, that K.I. was one of the most ruthless killers in the history of Chirac. K.I. didn't just go after ops. She went after anyone who disrespected her, including other females. She also allegedly once shot at the female cousin of a respected member of O Block named T-Roy. The cousin ended up snitching on K.I., but she still beat the case. Plus, K.I. wasn't just putting in work on the streets. She was also known to brag about her activities on social media, tweeting things like, shout out OD for being target practice, lol, hashtag STL. This is where her relationship with King Von would first begin. Even though Von and K.I. were both technically ops, they had a mutual respect that bordered on flirting. In a documentary about K.I.'s life that aired on A&E, Von even later admitted that he had a crush on K.I. back in the day. But just because they respected each other as ops doesn't mean that they were cool. Despite their attraction to each other, they were still bitter rivals and it was on sight if either one of them caught each other lacking. So they always had a strange relationship. They would be taunting and threatening to kill each other one minute, then start flirting the next. For example, Von once tweeted, Kyra be sounding sexy on the phone, on David. He also once tweeted at her and said, good afternoon wifey. She responded, lol, hashtag funny ass, what up dude? So even though they were enemies, it wasn't all smoke between them. But their conversations weren't always romantic. Once when K.I. tweeted something about Odie's death, Von reminded her about the incident where he allegedly beat her up on the train. In the tweets, Von seemingly admits to catching K.I. by herself on the train and beating her up. So just because Von had a crush on her, doesn't mean he's gonna let her forget that they were ops and she killed one of his good friends. After that, Von allegedly went to look for K.I. at a local corner store. Some of her friends blocked him from getting to the store and Von went to Twitter to air out the situation. And as time went on, their relationship got more threatening and less friendly. In 2012, K.I. tweeted, you was a hashtag goofy like two years ago when my twin at FYB Butter beat your ass, but you drilling now, laugh my ass off, little hashtag Davon. This obviously triggered Von, and they got into a Twitter war after that. Around that time, Von also started warring with another one of KI's good friends, FBG Wooski. Wooski was another rapper slash gang member who grew up in O Block, but later moved to St. Lawrence after he allegedly killed another respected member of the BDs named Reezy. Years later, Wooski was accused of killing another member of O Block named Platoon, who was close to King Von. So, Von retaliated by killing a dude named Modell, who was Wooski's cousin. Wooski became one of O Block's most hated ops, and he and Von would develop a strong hatred for each other. Check out our video on FBG Wooski, the gravedigger of Chirac, for more info on this beef. After Modell was killed, Von and Wooski got into a heated argument on Twitter, and K.I. ended up getting involved. During this argument, Von admitted to having several bodies and told both Wooski and K.I. that he wasn't the one to play with. But before anything serious could happen, Von would be arrested for the murder of Malcolm Stuckey, and would spend the next two years locked up fighting the case. 
Vaughn allegedly killed a man named Malcolm Stuckey at a house party after he was giving them dirty looks. Vaughn left the party and recruited the help of a BD from O Block named Big Mike, who happened to be Wooski's brother. He and Vaughn returned to the party and fired at Stuckey, who was hanging out on the front porch with friends. Stuckey would end up passing away, and two other people would be injured in the shooting. After being questioned by police, Big Mike sent on Vaughn to get a lighter sentence. But at the last minute, he refused to testify in fear of retaliation by the BDs and ended up taking the fall for the whole thing. No other witnesses agreed to come forward and testify, and there wasn't much other evidence to convict Vaughn. So, he was allowed to walk, while Big Mike ended up being sentenced to 28 years. But even while Vaughn was locked up, he continued to think about K.I. While he was in jail, his sister tweeted at K.I. and said, Bro said come see him, he miss you, no bullshit. Proving that even though he was potentially facing life in prison, he still had a crush on his op. But his hatred for Wooski would only grow stronger after his brother almost put him behind bars for life. So, when Vaughn got back on the street, he was out for revenge on anyone who double-crossed him. Before going to jail, Vaughn was allegedly involved in another murder of a local drug dealer affiliated with the Jarl City set named P5. It's rumored that Vaughn, along with other O-Block members such as Jay Money and T-Roy, ambushed P5 when he was on his way to making a sale and shot him in the face and body over 15 times. K.I. was close to P5, and while Vaughn was locked up, K.I. would allegedly get revenge by killing Jay Money. Just a few months before Jay Money was murdered, he and K.I. would get into a heated Twitter battle where they both threatened to kill each other. So, even though Vaughn had a bit of a crush on K.I., she had now killed two of his close friends, O.D. and Jay Money. On the same day that Vaughn was released from jail, he responded to one of K.I.'s tweets saying, What's up, Ma? You don't miss a n But once again, their relationship would quickly go from flirting to beefing, and K.I. would tweet, How it feel to lose your homie while you behind them bars during that time? Vaughn responded by tweeting, N. Modell, and rest in piss, P. Crack reminding her that the score was even and that they had both taken out two of each other's close homies. After that, they got into a crazy Twitter fight. So, despite their past feelings, someone had to go. On April 11th, 2014, K.I. and FBG Butter were on their way to Wooski's house. Around 6.30 p.m., K.I. dropped her location on Twitter, which Vaughn and others saw. So Vaughn, along with Big A, T-Roy, and Boss Money left O Block, where they quickly spotted Butter and K.I. This was the perfect opportunity to give revenge for both J Money and O.D. So as soon as they saw the two of them, they started letting off shots. FBG Butta got away, but K.I. was hit several times and later died from her injuries. Although for years, it was rumored in the streets that Vonna killed K.I., the police never had enough evidence to prove it. But years later, documents from the Chicago PD were released to the public that indicated Vaughn was a major suspect in her death. According to the paperwork, Vaughn provided two different alibis for the day of the murder and agreed to take a polygraph test. But even though the alibis did not confirm Vaughn's exact whereabouts at the exact time of the shooting, and he never actually took a polygraph test after agreeing to, the DA refused to prosecute because of lack of evidence. So, someone leaked the documents to confirm one of the oldest Chicago street rumors, that Vaughn was involved in the death of his main op and crush, K.I. The story of K.I. and King Vaughn could only happen in a city like Chicago. They both clearly had a thing for each other, but their love wasn't enough to squash the bitter hatred between their two gangs. Who knows what could have happened if they put the past behind them and decided to settle down, but in the end, their relationship could never really happen because there was too much blood on both their hands for either one to let it go.